This is the Influencer Entrepreneurs Podcast with Jenny Melrose, where I strategize with business owners on how to grow and scale their businesses to hit their income goals. This is episode 348 of the Influencer Entrepreneurs Podcast with Jenny Melrose. Today, we're going to be talking about the ultimate guide to brainstorming and validating blog niche ideas. You are going to want to definitely take a listen into this episode. But before we do that, I want to make sure that if you haven't already grabbed my blog like a pro guide, that you make sure that you grab it. It is really going to walk you through your positioning, understanding how you can apply that niche into the problem that you solve for your audience, as well as the keyword research that needs to go into it to grow your blog, and then also the content plan that you are going to have to put that content out. You can go to uh, the blog post that we actually have in the show notes, or you can actually just send me a DM on Instagram at Jenny underscore Melrose, and I will be happy to send that to you. Okay, so we're going to learn how to research market demand, identify profitable niches, and stand out in a crowded blogging landscape. We're not going to want to miss this. The big thing that I want you to understand is, yes, I said crowding, crowded blogging landscape, but I am not saying oversaturated. You can go into any niche that you want to go into. The first thing that you want to take a look at is figuring out what you are passionate about and what your expertise is, because you cannot simply create content that is not something where you are a couple steps ahead. That is what we're looking at. When you create content, when you create a blog and you fall into that niche, you want to make sure that the content that you are creating is a couple steps ahead of the person that you are creating the content for. For that audience that we have talked about so many times on the the episodes in the past, you really want to think about what could I consistently create content about? If you're not passionate about it, it's going to be difficult to continually create that content content that is within that niche. And I know that a lot of you will try to say to me, oh, but I'm multi-passionate. I want to be able to have a very broad niche. That's a lifestyle because I want to do style and I want to do talk about parenting. And I want to also talk about the food that we eat. My recommendation for you is to pick a narrower niche, really figure out what you are going to be known for. I understand that you are multi-passionate, but it is going to be very difficult for you to grow and monetize something where people don't know what they are coming and going to get from you when you are a lifestyle block. So this day and age in 2023, you have to really start to think about how can I narrow down my niche and be specific and become known for my expertise and the passion that I have in that as well. When you do that, it makes it much easier, one, for Google to figure out what you're an expert in and to start ranking you for those keywords that you're using. It will also make your keyword research much easier because you're not trying to research a style post and then a food recipe and then your parenting theories. Instead, you're really honing in on one specific area so that you can fully answer a problem that they have. When you are lifestyle, you're answering so many different problems because you're having categories in so many different things. So really start to think about What am I passionate about? What am I an expert in? How can I narrow my niche so that my people will come to me knowing that I'm going to solve a problem for them? In order to really start to figure out what that is going to look like for your blog niche ideas, you want to research and validate it. You want to know that there is an actual need for it. And the best place to really start is the people in your real life. Um, Pat Flynn wrote a great book that talks about being able to determine whether or not there is an actual need for the product or service that you're putting out there. That also comes to a blog. So talking to your friends, what are the problems that they have? What are they continually asking you questions about? If They are coming to you wanting to know how to grocery shop because they know that you still in this crazy day and age of inflation only spend a hundred bucks a month for your family, not a hundred bucks a month, excuse me, that would be crazy. hundred bucks a week is what I was trying to say. hundred bucks a week for your family of let's say three at the grocery store. They are coming to you to learn those things. 
from you, then that's your area of expertise. That could be something, if you're passionate about that, that could be something that you may go into a niche. Maybe it's really teaching them how to do their grocery shopping for less money so that they can save money overall. Figuring out what that is going to be, but starting by talking to the people in your real life and then starting to look at, okay, let's get into maybe a couple of Facebook groups that let's see, I want to, I'm thinking about doing homeschooling. Let me go into homeschool group and see what the questions are. And if I would be able to answer those questions and how I would answer those, that is the research that you want to be doing. Really trying to figure out what are the questions being asked? Can I solve the problems they have? Is there a need for what I am creating? Is there a need potentially for a product or service? That is what is going to make your blog profitable. It's knowing that there are things that people are going to need their problem solved within that niche. So when it comes to looking at multiple niches, we've talked about the idea of being multi-passionate. You within a niche can cover multiple things. So if you wanted to, you are going to pick a, it's not gonna be lifestyle because that is too large, too much of an umbrella, too many overarching ideas within it. But let's say you're going to talk about parenting. You can talk about parenting to a different, within different bubbles, within different pillars of content, but you want to make sure that you are staying consistent with what you believe as far as the parenting so that there is this overarching piece of your theories on parenting and what you are going to teach your audience and what you're going to be known for by Google. The easier, the not the easier, the quicker you decide on your niche and can start creating the content on that narrow niche, the easier it's going to be in order for you to start to rank for that content because this, the keyword research will become much easier for you. And then it'll make it much easier for Google to determine what you are trying to be known for. When you are then looking at, the, of course, one of the main things that I always get asked is how do I make money blogging? And I'm going to link to that. There are many ways that you can make money blogging. We've talked about different ways in past episodes that I will definitely link to. But you want to be able to pick a profitable blogging niche I where there are options to be able to monetize, whether you are going to create a product or service within that niche or you're going to use affiliates or sponsorships of brands that are within that niche. Really starting to think about, again, going back to your expertise, your passion, are you going to be able to consistently create content within that? And then are there products, services that I could potentially offer within that niche? Or are there products and services already out there? within that niche that your ideal audience would be looking to purchase because it solves the problem. Again, this is always going to go back to the positioning that you create for your audience. What are you going to be known for? How are you going to solve the problem that they have? And whether that is going to be you creating your own product or service is what will make it profitable for you. Or if you could potentially have other brands out there that have created a product or service that you could use as an affiliate or a sponsorship. You of course have other ways you'll see when you go click over to that last episode on being able to make money with your blog. It'll give you more information on other ways that you can potentially find a niche that is profitable. But these are the ones that you really want to be thinking about. How can I have an end game of having a product or service that I offer that substantially offers, it answers the problem that my audience has? All right, you guys, if you haven't already grabbed your blog like a pro guide, I want you to make sure that you do that. It is going to help you get organized with your content that you are creating. I also would like to remind you that if you haven't already left a rating and review, it helps to continue to get great guests on the podcast when you do so. So if you would go over to your favorite podcasting app, just scroll down to where you see rating and reviews, do a five star or a four star or whatever star rating you want to do and leave me a quick one sentence. What was most impactful? from this episode, I would appreciate it. All right, guys, until next time, I will see you all then. 